Welcome to Pont Neuf Studio. My name is Kristen and today I will be showing you how to crochet a guinea pig sweater. The supplies needed are written down below in the description box. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 31. Pause your video here until you've made 31 chain stitches. To start your first row, make a double crochet stitch in the fourth chain from your hook. I will link in the description box below some videos showing how to do the slip knot, chain, and double crochet stitch. Continue across your chains making one double crochet in each chain across. Pause your video and meet me back once you've finished your first row. To begin your second row, chain 2 and turn. Make 17 double crochet stitches across. The unworked stitches from row 1 will be the next strap of your guinea pig sweater. Pause your video here until you've finished your second row. This is how your sweater should look after your first two rows are complete. To begin row 3, chain 2 and turn, double crochet into each stitch across. Pause your video until you've finished row 3. This is how your sweater should look once you've finished your third row. To begin your fourth row, chain two, turn, and double crochet into each stitch across. Pause your video and I will meet you back when you're finished doing your double crochet stitches. Once you work your way all the way across the top of row 3, your fourth row is only partially complete. Continue the row by chaining 18. This will begin the belly strap portion of your sweater. This is how your sweater will look at the end of your fourth row. To begin your fifth row, you will triple crochet into the fifth chain from your hook. Continue making one triple crochet in each chain across. Only the belly strap portion of this row is done with triple crochet. Your last triple crochet will be done in the last chain. Pause your video and I will meet you back when you are making your last triple crochet stitch. My last triple crochet stitch is now going in the last chain. As you can see here, the chain has been filled with triple crochets and I'm about to start doing double crochets into the main body part of the sweater. Finish your row by making one double crochet in each stitch across. Pause your video until you have worked your way across, 
finishing your fifth row. This is how your sweater should look at the end of your fifth row. Now that your neck strap and belly strap are done, your last two rows will just be finishing up the main body portion of your sweater. To begin row six, chain two and turn. Double crochet across, stopping once you get to the last stitch of your main body part of the sweater. You do not want to double crochet across the belly strap. Pause your video and I will meet you back on my last stitch of this row. This is how your sweater should look once you've finished your sixth row. To begin your seventh and final row, chain two, turn, and double crochet into each stitch across. Pause your video until you are finished with this row. Now that you've finished your last row, you can cut your yarn and finish off. You will need two buttons for your sweater. The large one is approximately 28 millimeters or just over an inch, and the medium size button is 12 millimeters or about half an inch. Attach the large button to the end of the row with your belly strap. Attach the medium size button to the end of the row with the neck strap. Once your buttons are attached, weave in your ends and your sweater is finished. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials.